Look at that 12 inch gauge cluster, yes! And just like that, we're back. This is a 2023 Ram 2500. And this is the limited Longhorn. I have not done a limited Longhorn in a long time. This has the digital gauge cluster and we're gonna do a quick walk around on this beautiful white truck. But before we do that, you know we gotta go over the window sticker first so we can see what's optional, what's standard, and get a good price point. Let's get started. Here's the window sticker for the truck we're gonna be reviewing today. And if you don't know, the limited Longhorn does slot just below the limited trim level. Base price for this one is going to be $72,475, and that's going to be for this configuration. Uh, here's some of the standard equipment, and if you didn't notice, here's some of the colors for the exterior and interior. And then it continues at the top here. And then here's some of your optional equipment. So fifth wheel prep package was $545, and the Longhorn Level 1 equipment group was $4120, and here's everything that's going to come in there. Anti-spin rear diff is going to be $495. The Cummins did go up slightly in price at $96.95, and keep in mind that's the only axle ratio which is listed right here for that. And clearance lights $95 with the 20 inch optional wheels at $16.95. Destination charge comes in at $18.95 with a total price of $91,015. So what you see is what you get on the limited Longhorn. Most of the things you're gonna see are gonna be standard with the exception of maybe one thing, and I'll show that to you in a second. But bold front grille, it's a lot different from what you see on the Limited. I actually prefer this grill a little bit more. I like how clean it is, and it's easy to clean too. Don't get me wrong, I love washing my trucks, but when you have a simple grill like this, it just makes it a lot easier. What you don't see, however, is a front camera, so that is an option. Now, this truck was cheaper than a Laramie I did a video on with the Night Edition package. Painted front bumper, LED headlights, top and bottom tow hooks are going to be finished in black i believe you can upgrade those to chrome if you like and parking sensors where you've always seen them at love the headlight design these are basically the same as the limited and this one does not have the sport performance hood and that pretty much is not available on this trim level so you have to go to a laramie night edition or a limited now these wheels are 20 inch and as you guys saw that was an option so it does come with an 18 inch wheel which i actually like to design them too Firestone tire still, which we won't go anywhere with that. We will just keep it at that. And LT 285 60 20. Hopefully, you guys can see that. Solid front axle, and not much has changed on the suspension or even on the powertrain and the frame of this truck. And as far as the capacity goes on the tires, it's gonna be right here. It's gonna be 3,640 pounds at 80 psi. And here's some of your badges on the truck. And check out your new mirrors. I actually like these in chrome better than they are in black. So, as I said in the last video, I wish Ram would just give this like a painted appearance, at least in black, because it looks too cheap when it's just finished and all in plastic. But these don't look bad at all. And you guys know that you do have a light here and turn signal. And there's a light down below too. Convex is still there. It's going to be heated top and bottom and you can control these from inside the truck Which is a great feature to have they've done that for a while smart key system And this one does have the power deployable running boards. However, this truck is in ship mode So they don't work clearance lights is gonna be an option too. You can see that they're up there I would never buy an HE truck without them. I, well, I would if I had to but I wouldn't want to and This one does not have air suspension although it is available and that's kind of why this one's a little bit cheaper too it didn't have that and maybe a couple other things that that laramie did but love the wheel design on this one it's gonna have a coil suspension out back led tail lights and check out that longhorn badge too they do provide a light down below and a camera and this one has that four seven pin LED lights out back class 5 receiving hitch parking sensors hidden down below and let's pop this they provide the same plugs in the bed LED lights they're not gonna work again because of the ship mode I am surprised they did not make a standard camera up there for the price point like I'm a little bummed by that but you still have a spray and bed liner and that fifth wheel prep package and 
And one thing I forgot to mention earlier is the fender flares do come standard on the limited longhorn and the limited but laramie no longer has fender flares i don't like a truck without fender flares personally i think it really does add a nice touch of luxury to it but this is a nice setup here definitely a good truck to have if you are in the market now let's go ahead and pop the hood whether you're a true ram fanboy or not no one can deny this engine. This is one of the best in this segment. Inline six design. It's very simple compared to the V8s, but it is dated though. It's gonna be dated on the engine and transmission. It's gonna have a six speed and it's a six eight RF, which I think is a great one. I have towed with it in the past and I was pretty harsh on mine too. I was testing it out at the time when I first got my HD truck and I thought it did a great job. It has strong downshifts if you do plan on towing, and who can deny this Cummins? I mean, they did do some updates to it, added some aluminum to make it a little bit lighter, and it does have a little bit of a bump back in 2019 for the horsepower and torque, so it has 370 and 850 pound-feet of torque, and like I said, it's a great, reliable engine. I think it's going to be one of the better options in this segment. And they did raise the price, but I don't think they've done any updates to it. They probably just raised it because of, you know, part supply maybe. But overall, a great engine, and I think it's great for doing some towing, doing some unloaded driving on the highway. And I think it can still easily get 100,000 miles without having no problems. Alrighty, here it is. Look at that 12 inch gauge cluster, yes! All screen now. When I did the review on the Laramie, that was not in there. So I, I'm wondering if it's an option, but it comes standard on this one in the uh, limited trim level. But check out this interior. It's been a long time since you've seen it. As you guys know, they put real wood trim pieces inside this interior. Love the bronze fixtures. This is like the cowboy truck for the people that live in Texas or Montana or wherever you live. And I love the two-tone leather. This is real leather too. Love that they give you the badge to make sure you are reminded you're driving a limited Longhorn Edition. Yes. Wood trim right there. On the limited, they do provide a wood trim piece here, but this is all finished in leather, which is actually not a bad thing. You can adjust the pedals down below. And seat memories right there, automatic up and down for the front windows. And you can still close the mirrors as you've always been able to on both sides. And as I mentioned, there is a spotlight on the front of the mirror. And you have a spotlight for backing up a trailer. You can probably see it turning on and off. And now what's new is you can push this button and push out the mirrors however you want. Does it on both sides and you can fine tune it to where you want them at. I love that they do that. And that's pretty much as far as they go out. And you can control that convex as I mentioned. Great controls. I love that they upgraded these mirrors. It was a long time coming personally. The ones that they replaced were still fine but they were kind of goofy as a lot of people have said in the past. But power seats, lumbar, which is what you would expect on a truck like this. And then here's some of your lighting controls. But let's go ahead and jump inside. Unfortunately, I can't show you this because this truck is in ship mode, I apologize. But the good news is, I'm sure I'll be able to do more videos on these and we'll be able to check out the 12 inch too. Look at that. Yes. I am a sucker for tech, I gotta admit it. I hate to admit that, especially on a truck, because people hate tech on trucks. But check out your controls. You see that gear limiter? Nothing's really changed on this. Ooh, that doesn't look good though. Why did they do that? They gave it a cream roof. Whoa. Wow. And so even on the A pillars too, I'm not a fan of that, but you know, one thing I'll say is that roof will help keep the heat down in here. But okay, let's get back to this. So as far as the gauge cluster goes, this is my first time. I love that they give you the RPMs. It's really cool. Although, I mean, I, you would expect them to do that. You have your diesel fuel gauge over here. 
DEF is on that side, and then you have some other gauges there. Let's go ahead and go through everything here. So we're gonna start, this is number one, so this shows you the miles per hour, or if you want it kilometers, you can just click the OK button right there, and it'll change it for you. And this is gonna be your vehicle information so let's go to the front so it's really quick to like respond when you push the button it's really fast right so this shows you the mpg and here's some of your oh why did they do that okay so they gave you three gauges there and they give you three more here uh, this is for the oil life and oil pressure and then the oil temp but i would like that oh man they kind of they kind of messed it up a little bit. They gave you the oil temp here and the trans and coolant on this side. It's not bad. I, I still prefer everything in one spot. So they kind of went backwards a little bit there, but that's okay. It's okay. That's just me being picky. And the oil pressure is right there too. And your tire pressure. And then your exhaust. Now I do like this. This is an upgrade. So you can now look at your exhaust brake, boost pressure, and diesel particular filter on one menu. I do like that huge upgrade there and then this is for your fuel filter idle and drive in the total and then back to your fuel economy so moving on down this is your trip information so this looks to be what trip one and then trip two they go trip a and trip b i'm sure you guys can see it now and then navigation so now you can do full screen navigation in the gauge cluster i do like this this is a huge upgrade um especially if you are you know listening to music and you just want to kind of see what you're listening to and just keep the navigation up here i like that it's pretty cool and then here's your drivetrain for the off-road and then this is going to be for your trailer so your distance you've towed it and then the gain audio any stored messages screen setup you know we got to do screen setup so you could change the information pretty much everywhere oh my gosh you can even change the badging look at that you can put the compass there audio was that trailer trip oh, man i like that and you can do nothing i like the badge personally i think that looks nice and clean there and then you have those two at the top or really these three i should say the middle and then the ones on the left and right and then you have some information you can change there let's go ahead and check this out oh see this is what i like right here i like the actual gauges so they have modern. So they kind of took a page right out of the GM trucks, personally. But hey, that's okay. Nothing wrong with plagiarizing. I do it all the time. And then let's go ahead and go back. Love that they do that. This is awesome. This is so much fun to do, too. Like This is what makes buying new cars fun. Like, you get to do new things and set stuff up. But yeah, fuel gauge, uh, show range. You can hide it. Wow. Odometer. You can show with a decimal. I actually prefer it with the decimal personally. I do like it with the decimal. And then, yeah, back to the top. Now the dash is gonna be wrapped in some type of leather. It's not gonna be real leather, which you don't really want because when the sun hits this and the heat, it starts to stretch out. But look at the design right there. Hopefully you guys can see that. It has like a gator material, like or pattern I say. Not, not material, gator pattern. That nice, wood trim piece here and this is like when you touch it you can feel how porous it is there's a power plug i will say having a power plug up here is nice because you don't have to have one running down my gm doesn't have one up here i kind of missed that and then check that out limited longhorn edition looks good nice big wood trim piece nothing's really changed on the sides or the top of the uh, 12 inch display is pretty much all the same there you have your full drive system trailer brake and then exhaust brake tow haul mode and then your front and rear parking sensors four usbs type a type c and then check out this trim piece too when you get a limited longhorn and a limited they provide these covers but when you get anything below it's all exposed or opened up another badge and you can kind of see that gator pattern there a little bit better too i've said it in the last video now that i have a gm ram has the best center console uh wireless charging right there this slides to give you more storage either front or rear
and then you have additional storage with the USB. That's going to be a Type A up top here. And home link, LED lights. Yeah, this truck has it all. Here's a look at the seat design in the rear seats. Pretty much matches the front. And you can kind of smell the leather inside this pickup too. That's something I've always liked about the higher trim levels. It smells like real leather in here. It's not a great smell, but it's not a bad smell. I actually like the smell. It's like the buckle they give you. And then here's the door. Love the two-tone leather. Always looks good. This one does have all the floor mats and it has the cubbies down here. And those do pop out too. 60-40 rear bench. A little bit of storage on this side. I'll show you guys the other side. I don't really show that side to you, so we will do it in this video. This does pop out to give you a platform. I'll do that on the other side too, but air vents, four more USBs, heated seats, power plug out back. GM doesn't give you one back here, and I do like one here and up front. More cup holders and light down below for the floor. Cup holders again, and let's go on the other side. As I mentioned, these do pop out. And there's seat back pockets, as you guys saw on both sides. And on this side, you're gonna have that Harman Kardon subwoofer. If it's not Harman Kardon, it'd be Alpine, so it'd be either or. And then just to show you guys this, Now obviously this is a heavy truck, so what's the damage on your payload? Let's check it out and see. So as far as your gross actuate rating up front, it's gonna be 6,000 pounds. The rear, it's gonna be 6,040 with a 10,000 pound GVWR. I'm still mad that Ram did not increase this number. I wanted 400 pounds. 400 pounds would've been enough and I would've been like, hooraying. Just a little bit more payload would've helped. But nevertheless, this truck still has a good payload capacity at 2,017 pounds. It's not great. Um, it's about 1,300 pounds lower than what GMs would be. But overall, uh, for this truck, 2,017 pounds with the options and features that you have is not terrible. But you're not going to be able to tow a fifth wheel trailer with this truck. Because you will run out of payload. And that's okay, because there's a lot of nice travel trailers. There are some goosenecks that probably will keep you within your limits too, depending on how you load your truck, obviously. But man, special shout out to Criswell Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. I owe it to these guys because if it wasn't for them, my channel would have not have grown as fast as it has because I've done a lot of videos here. And they have a ton of 2023s. One right there, a couple back there. And we're gonna do one on another Laramie because I wanna show you guys one without the Night Edition package. See you guys in the next video.